Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. I'm Susan McCord. The topic we're going to discuss today is five signs that your first date went really well. Number one, your date planned something stress-free. They let you know where you're going, what time they're picking you up. They actually confirmed it by texting you or calling you and letting you know, I'll see you at a certain time. And it just flowed. It was so nice because you knew that it was going to happen. They weren't going to ghost you because they texted you and said they're going to be there, gave you the day before information, and you went out and you had a really nice time because there was no money stress. You went for a walk and a coffee, and you just really sat down and got to know each other. A lot of times when there's a high-end restaurant involved or something along those lines that costs a, a fair bit of money, it puts a lot of pressure on both people, the one that's paying for it and the one that isn't paying for it because you don't know what's going to happen at the end of the date. Make it as stress-free as possible. So when somebody tells you what, they're, what you're going to be doing, where you're going, what time, all those things, it's really nice etiquette to follow. Th that sort of uh, ritual with somebody. It's nice for the person that's meeting up with you to know what's going on. Number two, the conversation was very reciprocated. You both asked questions, you both listened, you took turns answering and giving information and them giving you information. There's nothing worse when you go on a date and one person talks and the other one listens. It, you don't find out anything. The reason we date is to see if we're compatible, see if there's things that fit between the two of us. And you want to know these things early on. It's really important to have things in common that you're talking about. And even if it's not something that you know anything about, it's interesting it, and it's fun. It, you guys are learning a lot about each other in this one particular date. Number three, sense of humor. You can laugh together. You can have fun and be playful. There's no stiffness. There's no uh, cockiness or arrogance or any of that stuff. It's just a really flowing connection. Your conversation is pretty much nonstop. There isn't a lot of dead air because you have so many things to talk about with each other. Number four eye contact, body language, all those things are really on point. You look at each other in the eye, you're not checking out what else is going on around the room or looking at other people. There's nothing worse than those kind of dates when they're checking somebody else out and sitting with you. You want somebody to give you that undivided attention, it make you feel special and you make them feel special. When you're sitting across from each other, that's what you see. You don't, you're not distracted by anything else. So make sure that your conversation is fun and just show a playful side. Show the person that you are not just all serious, work-related or freaking out about being on a date. You are a fun person. You've got things that you want to do with a, a person down the road and just be open to a lot of different things as well. If they're a big water skier and you're not maybe you want to maybe one day you will be maybe one day it will be really fun or you just go in the boat and watch them it, it doesn't matter but be open to each other's activities that you might not actually be doing at this particular time but you would also be there for them because it's important to know on the first date that you guys can be compromising and be accepting of certain things that they may have in their life that you don't have. Hey, sometimes you go and you meet somebody new and your life changes because you're trying all these new things that you never tried before. That's what a partnership is. It should be an extension of who you already are as a person. So that way, when your new person comes into your life, you're even more of who you are because you're expanding. You're evolving together as a couple and helping each other with new things in, in each other's life. That's what a really good partnership is. Number five, you don't have that dreaded, when am I gonna see you again? Oh, is this person ever gonna call me? Or is this over? Is this the first and only date? You talk to each other and you let each other know wow, this was fun, I really want to see you again. 
can we plan something for next week? It doesn't have to be the next day, and I would suggest it isn't the next day. It's always good to leave a little bit of time. Don't go in too fast, slow it down a little bit, get to know them. Make sure that when you walk away from each other that you have a smile on your face and you can't wait to see them again. That's really important. You also can't wait to give them that big kiss either. Like it's just like you're looking at them across the, the table and it's like, ugh, the chemistry's huge. That should be number one. But anyway, it's in there that the chemistry should be there for both of you because if it isn't, it is hard to get sometimes. It can be done, but I think the majority of people will agree that if it's there in the beginning, it usually will be there for a long time. It's harder to bring it in. So number five, as I said, just be very, very open with each other. If you like each other, let each other know. Plan another time that you're gonna see each other text each other good night after you leave each other on that first date say you had a good time talk about maybe what you liked about it and just be that person just be authentic don't be hiding behind anything be who you are that that is the biggest thing i can say that works for people on a date if you are completely authentic to who you are and you guys don't click well then that's okay because you're not being anybody different. You're being yourself and maybe that one didn't click. But when you have five uh, really good signs on a date, like all the things I just talked about, those things all there, it's usually the beginning of something really special. So pay close attention to those things and that's what you wanna see on a date. You don't wanna try and figure out what they're thinking. They wanna be on time, they wanna be, uh, you know, you both be really kind and nice to each other, respectful, eye contact, great body language. All those things are super important and they're big signs that a first date went well. So if you have any questions, please contact me here at Cyber at Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe and hit click like. I appreciate that. And leave any comments or any show topics you have for me and I will definitely get back to you. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.